uh, you care too much about what other things uh, things about you eh? even if people do judge you it only reflects who they are as a person it doesn't reflect who you are the truth is even if you do end up trying to please some of these people there will be another group that will find something else to complain about so stop trying to please everybody uh, because you cannot please everyone and everybody it is impossible instead why not please the most important person in your life and that person is you Yes, uh, hello guys, welcome to uh, this uh, learning and inspiration moment with me, your presenter, Huntington. Today is all about what people have always asked themselves why, you know, you ask yourself why. What am I saying this? I'm saying this because you found out that people have been taught all the time that uh, how to be successful how to be successful people have been told that uh, in all journals in all videos in all of all things that um, have been of uh, what can aid one to get out of poverty or out of uh, to be successful in life or to succeed in life and uh, something funny is that I've never come across that a video that tells someone if you want to avoid uh, if you want to avoid uh, being unsuccessful or if you want to be successful avoid this and exactly that is what you want to talk about on this short video as I said earlier on that uh, success leaves a clue and so does failure success leaves a clue so does failure if you look at all the habits of people who have generally succeeded in the long run in the long run who are generally uh, i mean they are uh, the polars eh? the polar op the polar opposite of uh, 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 of those generally who keeps on failing i get to understand that now uh for one to be blessed or you who is watching this video uh you can be uh, the most fortunate and blessed person uh, on earth but if you are consistent following the habits that we are going to talk about today then I want to let you know that uh, you will succeed so I want us to help I want to help us uh, one another this now is different video from those that you've been reading about how to be but this is how or what to avoid for you to succeed in life number one let's talk about you loving wasting uh okay when someone like you you love wasting money and expect your parents to foot the bill hello yeah there's nothing wrong for a parent to help uh, their kids yeah there's nothing wrong with that but if if you get to a point that you keep on spending their money previously i mean obviously you spend the money obviously uh, without knowing and appreciating how hard they have worked for it that is one sign that my friend there is no other success there is no success that will knock at your door hello then that means a mature person you know a mature person enough to respect money but in real sense I want you to know that if you misuse money or you use money just because money you've been flowed with money from your parents your parents made it early they at least they something they kept for you uh, in store uh, despite for the for us uh, who really had to struggle to make it to that level you find out that you are not respecting the money my dear one let me know that the truth of the matter is if you don't respect money money it won't respect 
you either. Yes. Now, number two. Number two is if you are not dis if you have you be disciplined. Yeah, you find people are not disciplined. But if you be disciplined of what you do, let me be assure, let me assure you that discipline is the discipline can be applied in every areas of life can be applied everywhere discipline if you don't have discipline if you don't exercise discipline be honest and i will not hide you from this discipline is something that has been sung in our ears since we were childhood in our primary classes in our in our secondary in our tertiary levels the discipline has been the key but if you cannot be disciplined that means if you cannot practice discipline then you simply will not succeed if you cannot practice discipline let me tell you the truth you will not succeed if you want instant pleasure hmm? if you don't want to tolerate you always want pleasure you're not willing to tolerate pain yeah you're not willing to tolerate, to tolerate pain today for payoff in future then your life is too much different from that of an animal that only wants food and sleep <laughs> yeah if your life is only limited to that good for you but you won't be changing the world anytime soon so just be a disciplined person discipline yourself success doesn't look for you you look for success and success doesn't stay in a place that it is not uh, uh, it is not welcome or it is not prepared hello success needs a place where it's being welcomed so that at least it finds comfortability comfortability now number three let's talk about uh, when I talk about you when when you start something make sure you finish it hello when you start something make sure you finish it. that's number three people find themselves that uh, they don't um, you start something but you don't want to finish it so how will you succeed show us a, a, a show us some sense that uh, you can succeed in anything else when you start doing something like this like you find out that you, someone start a, a project and it ends without even uh, finishing it yeah one of the key difference between uh, successful people and failures is that the former usually finish what they start and the later always uh, uh, the latter almost uh, never do Failure says they want to follow their passion, but when the when the going gets tough, they throw it. They throw in the towel. Passion isn't enough if you lack the commitment to go through with all the way. That is exactly. If you see that you have already started up something, a project, and then you get on, you get on moving, but you reach to a point this it's like wow. <laughs> It's not making it's like it's bringing some there is some hardship on the way then you say okay this it's getting tough no I will I will let me go and think about it that shows that now you have already failed and failure people that's what they do they procrastinate things stop procrastinating things just because you have built a house, you started building a project of a mansion, you get to a level that um, it's uh, almost done. Then uh, some cash disappears or there's some things rise. Instead of you still um, concentrating, concentrating on, the, uh, on the project to make sure that it ends well, what you do is you... What do you do? You give up. I say I'll come back for you and I've seen so many people doing this I've seen so many people start projects when the the project gets tough you not seen them they will tell you man I'll get I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when we'll resume the project I've seen people uh, of that kind so if you want to succeed 
stop procrastinating things stop procrastinating things stop uh, uh, leaving projects or things on the way or underway stop a hey, hey, stop it not good at all yeah so if you want to succeed when you start a project fight it till the end you are the blame game number four successful people they don't know about blame games no 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 successful people they don't know about blame games blame games yes yeah, some people are fortunate enough to get their right opportunities but without the will to succeed even those opportunities will be so absolutely useless the single biggest factor behind success is how badly you want to succeed and your willingness to take personal responsibility. If all you do is blame your parents, your boss, your friends you are, uh, for your lack of success, it means your approach towards life is passive. You believe someone else in control of your destiny and once you start believing that you are doomed. Hello? Blame games. You know, like you see um so and so has already made it because my pa her parents or his parents uh were people who go uh, okay who got into the government got money long time ago the people who succeed at least uh, his parents gave him what we call uh saved some cash for him but for me you know i just have to struggle for my own you blame you say oh my, my friends you know i don't do my friends did this uh, it's because i didn't succeed my friend uh, took my money i didn't say they took your money they borrowed loan from you three million but the thing is they did not take away your mind your brain your hands you can still make the same money you can make the same money through that are you getting that? You can save money. You can make money through the same thing. Are we talking about the same thing? We're talking about the reality of life. Hello. Yes, exactly. Simple. You don't believe in yourself. Now we always say number five: people don't believe in themselves. Hmm? People don't believe in themselves. You don't believe you can make it. You don't believe. Man, you have to believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you can really make it life very. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, you are almost certain to fail. Why you ask? It is in simple. Those who believe that something is possible make determined efforts to make their dreams come true. Chronicle failures, on the other hand, believe from the very beginning uh, that is nothing going to work. As a result, they never put in the effort to succeed. You say, ah, this one can't work. It can't work. Once you believe in yourself, everything is possible and everything can work. I have seen people saying that this one cannot work. Eh? That nothing can't work. Everything can work. As long as you put yourself uh, in order. Put yourself in that area that you believe that everything is possible. So, everything can work. Yeah, everything can work. Just believe in yourself, believe in yourself, you can do what is supposed to be done. Everything is uh, is on set. Then we have these funny people who don't set goals in your life. My friend, I, uh, but l l let me tell you this thing of uh, setting goals of the year. That one cannot help you. What you do, set just set goals. Eh? Uh, uh, when you set your goals, Make sure there are goals that are workable. For instance, you need uh, um, to build, uh, you need to buy a car. And you also need to build a house. Calculate, yeah, which one will it work? Will that, uh, the money you're earning, will it help you buy a car or will it help you uh, build a house first? Choose. When you set a goal, make sure that you fight that goal till the end. If you don't have a goal, it means you don't know where you are going. If you don't know where you are going, then it's almost certain that you are going to, uh, to wander around aimlessly. Success is a journey with milestone, but it needs 
a man, a map to keep you on track. Your goals are your map. If you don't have them, you will end up being lost in the wilderness. But that's the truth. Your goal, your goals is the map to your direction. Yeah, or you will, if you don't have goals, then you will end up in, <laughs> you will end up in the wilderness. So don't tell people that uh, you, you, if you avoid this, if you set up your goals, then you will succeed. But if you are, you procrastinate, you don't want to set goals, you are saying you will just work the way people are working, then be honest, there's nothing will help you. Hello? Then you have to be careful. Uh, you care too much about what other things, uh, things about you. Eh? Even if people do judge you, it only reflects who they are as a person. It doesn't reflect who you are. The truth is, even if you do end up trying to please some of these people, there will be another group that will find something else to complain about. So stop trying to please everybody. Uh, because you cannot please everyone and everybody it is impossible instead why not please the most important person in your life and that person is you also take good care of your health that is also if you avoid people who, who are just there just to end up things you know if you don't take care of your health then no matter how hard you work it is always going to be worthless because you simply won't be around long enough to actually enjoy the fruit of your labor. You find somebody is, is infected or someone is having cancer and that person says, there's no need for me to work hard because I'll die along the way. Yeah. So if you don't do that, that means that you won't succeed. You will just be there. No, I'm waiting for that day. This cancer will kill me or this what will kill me. So if you take good care of your health, life, that means you will have the power to move on, the power to uh, to to work hard. Hmm? Also, you need to stand up for yourself. That nine, you need to stand up for yourself. If you can't fight for what you want, then don't cry when you don't get it. If you don't fight, you will be taken advantage of by us and be cramped. Yes, being too nice is a bad thing. If it kills your dreams, in the process. Do not be, uh, not be a dormant, be assertive, and demand what you want. Especially if you deserve it. If you are too scared to demand what you want because you think you will be considered impolite. Then be contented with living the life of a nice guy who is a failure. I know that one, people don't want to hear about it. Uh, people don't want to hear about that. Being a lot of being um, trying to be uh, so nice that also you want to be so nice to someone who is not supporting your life, who is not supporting uh, your dreams, who is not there to make sure that your dreams are valid. You want to sit there and say, you know, guys, I don't care. Man, you become so polite. You're a polite person. You make things, let people uh, misuse your politeness. Eh? That is when you say you don't stand up for yourself. You do. You cannot stand and say, "Hey, no, man, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this." Are you getting what I'm saying? So, I just want to let you know that courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. That is a. Uh, that is a. Uh, um, that was a quote that uh, I met from Winston Churchill. Eh? Just know that. That one will help you to stand up for yourself. As I'm just trying to sum up because we were talking just to share some things that are all f uh, are of uh, uh, better and then we can say 10 you put money ahead of relationship we finish that one by saying that if you want to um, if you want to be to succeed in life stop putting money ahead of relationship you know there's a time I went somewhere for an interview and they were asking me that uh, how much do you want us to pay you and I was like you know uh, I don't like putting money ahead 
I don't like putting money ahead. I like let the work be done first and then the rest you will see what you can appreciate. That is not salary, it's appreciate. You see what how you can appreciate. If you appreciate me well, okay, fine, good. If you don't, back to you in studio. <laughs> so, uh, putting uh, uh, money ahead of a relationship. You know, even if you do, uh, if you do succeed in your career, you need someone around to actually celebrate with you. Nobody's going to be around celebrating with you if you don't show what that you are about You care about them as well success in life is not just uh, materialistic Success in life is not about materialistic. It's include it includes a relationship as well If you ignore relationships for the sake of money, you may be a success in your professional life but in your personal life you will be an utter failure uh, did we say that so there's so many aspects and uh, different meanings uh, to success figure out what success look like for you and then take the necessary action to go after what you want if you reevaluate your life and you see some of these signs uh, make sure that uh, figure out how to improve well eh? and then eventually eliminate them if you want us please uh, on which uh, which sign do you need us to talk or to work on i will request you from wherever you're watching this video please leave your thoughts in the comment section below because this is a place that we want us to talk just the same way people say uh, because our fans says that um, there's no need for us uh, to to learn more about being uh, how to be successful and yet we are not uh, we are not um, we are not being uh, advised what to avoid so that we uh, we succeed in life yes um I want to say thank you very much for everything you've been doing for those who are uh, all following this channel and for those who are ready to make this channel work and get to another level say if you wanted if you have not shared this video share it uh, subscribe comment and let other people get to know about this till next time i was your presenter Huntington. see you next time